So, hello, YouTubers. As discussed, we have a new product to trial out. It is the Top Don TC View TS001. So, it is a thermal imaging camera. This one's the Android Type C version. Um, you can download the app, which I'll show you via the Google Play site. So, to download the app, it's simply on an Android device. Select the Play Store, type in top infrared search, and you're up with this. Click the install there, top infrared by Top Don. Install that. Now it's installed, simply click open. Agree to the terms of service, privacy policy, and third party components. And that is the app installed. It will now ask you to plop in the camera, which we'll do in a bit. Um, on the back of the box, then a quick breakdown 256 by 192 pixel HD infrared camera. It's got a manual adjustable focus on it too. Temperature range from minus 20 to 550 degrees Celsius. Um, a working distance of about 200, 200 yards. Gives you some reports and alerts. And it also gives us some real time thermal graphs. Shall we have a look at what's in the box? Let's get it open. So yeah, very nice presentable black box. And you presented there, which I'm assuming is the item, and it's in a carry case. So that looks quite smart. And inside the carry case, then, we have a few items. Shall we have a look? So, straight away, a nice extra lanyard, then, so you can attach to the camera. A USB-C plus standard USB connection. So we'll have a look at what that is, then. A nice cleaning cloth for the lens itself. A carry case, so you don't have to have it plugged into the bottom of the phone, which I will show you. And the device itself. And from first impressions, Top Don, I'm going to say that is quite a smart looking piece of equipment. Compact, light, and straightforward by those things. I'll assume, so you've got a little uh, cap for the lens, that this plugs, the USB-C plugs straight into the bottom of your phone. If you don't want it on the bottom of the phone, obviously you can use that. A massive upgrade from the previous version then, as we discussed, is this manual, nine millimeter manual focus. The old one didn't have this on, and obviously then you can use a little cap to plop over it. So obviously then standard operation, you can have it point in either way from the screen to the rear. I would probably stick it so the camera is facing the back of the phone because then obviously you could use this as your image and as it obviously you just walk around and see what's going on the screen. But for instance, if you didn't want to use it straight into the bottom of the phone, you have this little carry case, which it's on a spring release there. So you just literally clip it to the back of your phone, slot that on, that feels quite sturdy. And then there's two little push pins there. You push that off, take the cap off. You will notice at the top of the camera housing, there's a square cutout. That will be for your USB-C, so you don't damage that. Slot that in like so. Fit it to the back of the phone, and there you go. Right, obviously, you would then have to use the cable to connect from there to your phone, which would be done like so. Obviously, you have a female USB end, which will plug straight in to the camera. And then, obviously, detach that, so you've got your USB-C, and that will go straight into the bottom of your phone. And again, that powers it straight up. I haven't installed it on this phone, but this is just for this purpose to see how you could actually set it up. So I'm quite impressed with that. Yeah, yeah, I've got the cable there. It might become a little bit annoying, 
but at least without having it at the bottom, you know, that's where you're pointing. So you could literally just fire it around like that. So we will try it in both ways. I'll give you my honest opinion on it and which way I prefer. There is the option of handheld, taking it like so. If you're into an engine of a car, you can turn that on, get that going and just poke around in that engine bay. Or you've got a large piece of equipment and you want to do it systematically at each component, you could do it like that. You could also have some sort of viewing aid uh, handle or rack that you could fix this to and just use it like so, maybe on a stick to get up a little bit higher or over something. So that does open up a lot more uses in my eyes. Able to completely detach it from your phone and play around with it. So yeah, yeah, so I quite like that. So we will probably put it in this scenario and have a little poke about with that as well, just so you can see what it looks like. So now we can see I'm in the garage and I'm looking now at the garage door. You can see above that there's lots of uh, cold spots where you can see there is no insulation in this room at all to be honest with you. Even above there you can see all the heat then on the roof itself and obviously along that line that I'm going along now is where the gap is. But there are some amazing little features we can do here so if I select this button here I can then put in a further three points of temperature and then obviously I can see what temperatures those are I can delete that and I can go into a line so I can go along that lineal path it give me the hottest and coldest point I can delete that and I can go to a plane so now I can actually draw a square on the screen and within that square it'll give me the hottest and coldest point point. and I can go on to the full image and again it will show me the coldest point in that full image and the hottest point you can see the hottest points around the lock and the coldest was on my bike but it's going a bit further down now so we can get a further look around and you can see the thermal properties of this garage are very, very poor. And this is where we experience, so I'm just looking at the back door now, this is where we experience most of our heat loss through this door here, you can see. So we're looking at mm, 16 degrees there. What I will do now is go and look at an internal door. So we're now looking at an internal door and you can already see it is nearly three degrees warmer, the actual door itself. If we go and look around the actual ceiling, then it'd be quite hard oh, it's fairly light, but you can see around the window there, then obviously a lot of heat. It is a nice day. But again, you see a lot of heat around the air filter so that would be an area where we'd lose a lot of heat but the ceiling doesn't seem to offer much in the way of uh, insulation in my eyes you can see a band across there and the light but apart from that there doesn't seem to be much insulation in this building at all. Which will tell me why it does get very cold. So here you go guys, and we can see an engine that's running, it's on my Ford Mondeo. And looking at all these components and you can see some pipe work there starting to read temperature as I've just started the engine up. Looking over the full engine then we can start to see some hot spots, especially around the uh, belt. That's starting to warm up quite nicely. and. This device, I think, is perfect for the fault diagnosis of this engine. If there were any issues with any of these components, they'd be overheating or they wouldn't be heating up. So it gives you a great insight into actually what's happening with the engine itself. On the other note, if you have an issue with your cooling system on the car, you could start her up, look at your various pipe work for 
your cooling system and see if there's actually any heat generated on these pipes and it will tell you then which component is uh, inoperative. So now guys I'm looking at some plugs in the actual house and you can see uh, how much heat signatures coming off these plugs. That one on the left is my internet and the one on the right is actually powering up my TV and all the other ancillaries that's connected to that. So it can just show you if you do switch off your plugs of an evening how much power you could actually save because there is a large heat signature there to about 23 degrees. So you can see the TV then, that's been off for a while, that is off standby, so it's showing slight heat, but that would be the ambient temperature. And if I swing around here now, you can see a Sonar speaker, so they're always left on standby. And from now on, I think I might actually start unplugging them to save a bit of power. If we go across the other side, there's the other Sonus there. And if we go down to the bottom here, this is the uh, robotic vacuum and again you can see a hell of a lot of temperature coming off that a lot of heat sign signatures so what I'm going to do look at the plugs so the plugs aren't giving a great deal of heat but I'm going to switch them off and then look at the components once I've done so the components now the plugs have been off now for about an hour and you can see there's been a massive reduction in temperature both on the uh, vacuum and the sonar speaker. If we look on the other side at my other speaker you can see that's registering around 24 degrees. This one is 19. So 5 degrees nearly there. Um, so that would save you quite a so, bit of energy. what can I say about the Top Don TS001? It's fantastic. It really does well at what it's required to do. I mean, I had a little play around with this, and yes, um, it's a bit finicky if you had it on the camera, you were sat there doing that on the phone, should I say. But no, you can see from the imagery I've got, it's very clear imagery, and it is definitely a marked improvement on the previous model. This, like I said, I was going to give a go. Fantastic. Um, the option sticking it in there, and what I liked is using it a handheld device then. If you dropped it, I'm not going to cause much damage and I could then poke about in certain areas. You would have noticed on the engine I did have it like this. It was a little bit jumpy, but it's not the jumpiness you need. You just need those temperatures. So as long as you can record them temperatures, then hey presto, everything seems to work as it should. So what can I say? It will save you energy. If you scour your house with this, you will be able to identify hot and cold spots. As you've seen in the video, plugs, massive heat signatures on these plugs. And when I turned the sonar speaker off and the um, vacuum cleaner, you saw that there was a five, six degree temperature drop. So again, less power being drawn. So I will start unplugging my uh, ancillary devices now there's no need to have them on generating 25 26 degrees of heat for no reason and it's costing you money so think smart the product is retailing at around 250 to 330 pound mark but worth a look i mean for your it specialists your mechanics <laughs> no brainer great bit of kit stick it in your toolbox take it with you plug it into your phone and they presto, you've got an instant temperature imagery system there for uh, not a great deal of pennies, I don't know if you, if you ask me, for what it can do. But thanks for watching. I'd also like to say thank you, Top Don, again for allowing me to uh, review your products. Um, I will leave links in the description below for Top Don and for this product. But until next time, take care. See you later. <laughs>